Jake Palmer at Remax. I'm at 22 Page in Rossi. Um, Page is just um, in the neighborhood right by Fairville Elementary, just kind of off the Gondola Point Road. It's in a nice, quiet uh, little subdivision that, um, you know, one of the things they did really nice here is they kept a lot of trees. So you've got a nice tree backyard, uh, nice, quiet roads, and again, just like a barefoot walk to Fairville Elementary, which is really attractive. This is a really um, a nicely laid out, nicely sized four level split. Four level splits are great homes to grow into. They've got a lot of space and a lot of room to kind of be disconnected from each other too if you want quiet little corners and different levels. So we'll go into the front door and I'll give you a tour from there. Uh, one of the things on the outside that I'll point out, uh, paved driveway, very nicely paved driveway too. A lot of times you'll see driveways even after four or five years where the pavement's kind of cracking because they didn't put in enough gravel underneath, but the driveway's in really great shape. Nice shutout back to, we'll see the backyard in a bit. One of the things I really like about this one is it's got a functional veranda. A lot of times they put the skinniest little deck that you couldn't dare have a chair on, but this is a really functional deck and it's covered as well. So you can really use the, uh, this front veranda as opposed to just being kind of an aesthetic feature. It's in really nice shape too. Very attractive front door. And we'll use that door right now. So coming into the front entrance, we've got ceramic tile, then going to uh, hardwood floors, coat closet off to the side here, and a really nice open, um, open living space here. So living room, kitchen, dining space, uh, all on this first level when you come in. Dining space is surprisingly big. You can see there's a bit of a bump out here, so room for a hutch if you have it, um, or a larger table that went the opposite direction. A lot of times on these four level splits, the kitchen ends up, or the dining space ends up being really small, but this is really impressive. There's quite a bit of room here. Great size kitchen, lots of cabinet space. Lots of counter space, especially if you consider the island as well. Lots of cabinets in the island. Dishwashers over beside the sink. Another nice thing back here, your kitchen window, the sliding door off the living space, they all face out to the backyard. And as you can see, you're really looking through it at the trees. A lot of these subdivisions, you're just staring at the neighbor's homes and you can tell you can tell what your next door neighbor puts in their hot dogs. They're having a barbecue. And this is only, this is only early April, sorry, early May. And so it's not fully treated in yet. This is pretty much as exposed as it's gonna be. So you really get a good sense of the privacy that you'll always have there in that backyard. Another view of that layout, that little bump out and the dining space. And there is a heat pump on this level as well. We'll go up first, <clears throat> then go downstairs. Three bedrooms up here. We'll start with the master. Masters are really decent size. Of course, the master faces the backyard, which is always preferable. This is a queen size bed, but there's plenty of room here for a king if you wanted. And when you look at this room, there's actually quite a bit of furniture in here. You know, either side of the bed, a dresser, another dresser, and there's tons of room in here. So it's a it's a really good size uh, master bedroom, double closet at that end, and of course, as I mentioned, looking out towards the backyard, so the quiet end of the house. Not that it's a busy road at the other side, but it's always nice when the master faces the back. Second bedroom here, decent size again. Closet over in the corner. Third bedroom. This one's a little bit smaller, but still very decent size. Closet over here. This is also the room with the attic access. And then full bath, ceramic tile floor. Kind of a linen closet arrangement in there. Vanity flush and full tub that's a one piece tub instead of the three pieces that eventually all want to leak. It is a single one piece tub. And 
Next window out to the backyard again. We'll head to the next level down. Another view of that really nice open layout. The nice thing about four level splits is that they're open layouts, but you know, sometimes when you get into a bungalow or a split entry of the same size, all of your space is kind of on one level. These homes offer actually more finished square footage in a lot of ways um, and, uh, and a little bit more separation of space, especially if you've got kids of different ages or people that do shift work, it could be really important. The other nice thing about a four level split is you end up with more levels above grade. So if you look at the size of the windows on this level, typically in a bungalow, we would be like at ground level here or below ground level. And so you end up with really bright space on this level. We've got a really good quality laminate floor down here. And again, the finishes, the trim work, the drywall work, everything on this level is uh, of the same kind of fit and finish and quality as, as upstairs, as opposed to a lot of homes where the basements are done, you know, by Uncle Joe after the third gin and tonic and they start looking a little bit rough. Uh, we've got a fourth bedroom down here. Again, because, you know, it's a, it's a split, we're well above grade here, so you don't feel like you're in a basement at all. I don't even know if technically you'd call it a basement. Um, closet here. This bedroom's larger than the smallest bedroom upstairs. Another three-quarter bath. Again, ceramic tile floors. One-piece shower kit. Flush. And the vanity is right around the corner. Now the last level down is um, is unfinished, but ooh, it offers a lot of potential. And really, because of the shape of the lot, one of the great things about this one is those windows um, would meet egress. They're really, really big windows. And so you could have more bedrooms down here, more finished living space. It's very, very bright. It's already insulated. It's already wired. It's already got heat. And so you really are just drywall and flooring away from having a whole lot more additional space. The great thing about that as well is that it means that this is a relatively no, new home that still has some room to build in equity. If you wanted weekend projects or something you could plug away at to improve the value of the home, this is a great opportunity. It's low hanging fruit. And the nice thing is because it's a basement, you can do it over the span of a few years. You're not living through a renovation. We've got laundry down here the hot water tank, air exchanger, and obviously lots of room for storage, deep freezes, things like that. The nice thing too, I'll just point out about this level, is that we're underneath the kitchen and living room level. And so in a four level split, this level, if you finish it, this is a great space for TV rooms, rec rooms, things like that, because the bedrooms are on the opposite end of the house and one level up. So you can make a lot of noise down here and not bother anyone that's sleeping on the bedroom level. And going out the sliding door, really nice size deck. So many times these homes are built with like 10 by 10 decks, but this is a really decent size. And again, it's a quiet street anyway, but just having the, uh, the quiet tree backyard is a really big plus and a really nice shot, nice size shed too. So that concludes the video tour for 22 page. If you have any questions about this home, please feel to reach out, feel free to reach out to me. I can be reached at 506-650-0092 by text or phone, or you can email me at jake at jakepalmer.ca. Thanks very much.